Somebody asked me, do you have your PR now? I can't get you out of my, out of my mind. I'm saying stop playing, girl, you out of line. Could it erase these feelings? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been it's been over a year. It's been a year and six months since I've been off YouTube and not posting consistently and replying DM. And honestly, I don't want to come on here and give excuses and be like, oh, I've not been posting because of this and that. Because I feel like that's just silly excuse. But honestly, I'm really, really, really sorry that I've been off YouTube and not posting and not replying to my comment section on YouTube. I feel like when I just came in with my master's degree and i was working and like the whole winter seasonal depression it just made me it just made me so overwhelmed and i had anxiety the beginning time i just came because i was just so stressed everything just felt like too much for me to handle i was really i was really trying to juggle youtube and like life but it was so hard cool and it was so hard for me to juggle i couldn't just like mix it together it was the most impossible task for me and i'm really sorry that i've been off youtube i see you guys comment i see people messaging me and asking me oh, why have you been on people telling me to take as much break as i need and come back better and i really appreciate like the love the love kept me going and just made me realize i had built a very beautiful audience on here and just made me really want to come back because i keep getting messages like every Every one week, I literally get like one message from one person asking me, oh, why have you been off YouTube? Oh, what's been going on? And also my subscribers that I've met in person in Windsor, in Toronto, I really appreciate. Thank you for coming up to me. It's very beautiful when somebody actually comes comes up to me because English sometimes. <laughs> English is hard. It's very beautiful when somebody comes up to me and be like, oh, I know you from YouTube, but I really love you YouTube. I really appreciate. Thank you guys for doing that. Thank you guys for understanding and like being patient and consistently subscribing to my channel even if I wasn't there. I think we are almost on 6k and honestly I really really appreciate. I post up a question tag on my social media asking, telling people to ask me a question. If you're not following me, I think you should follow me. I'm gonna put my social media handle somewhere around here. I think you should follow me so you can ask me any question if you ever want to ask me any question i put up a question tag that people should ask me any question they would like to ask get to know me a life update tag so that i can answer like questions you guys have been wondering and i like compiled of the questions and how i'm going to be answering them in this order because i don't want this video to be so long and i'm going to be answering all your questions i feel like the long the most question i get was I'm looking at, if you see me looking at, because I'm looking down at the iPad, because I made a list of the questions people asked me. And the most question I got was, why did you stop YouTube for a long time? You guys, I honestly don't want to give an excuse as to why I stopped YouTube for a long time. I feel like I just became so overwhelmed with having to go to school and having to work and do youtube and when I undergraduate i didn't have to work and go to school but now actually having to go to school and work and then like do youtube it just felt too much for me i feel like also coming to canada in the winter the whole and then just with the whole seasonal depression just hits me like so hard and like just trying to blend in just hits me so hard it was so hard for me and that is why i've I was off YouTube because everything I just felt so overwhelmed. I feel like that period I developed like a very severe severe anxiety, but I'm working on that. But that's why I've been off YouTube for a long time. But now I'm back at better, and I don't think I'm taking any break from now. You guys hold me for my words. Another person said, "Congratulations! I've been following your milestone from YouTube to Instagram." Thank you. I really appreciate. It. I love you guys. I love my subscribers. You guys are the reason why I'm like. I really need to come back like you guys keep us so positive and I've seen a lot of these testimonies of getting your study visa and how like my videos helped you and stuff and I really appreciate it. I'm glad I was able to help you let's go into the next question if you guys hear a noise they're fixing something in my house I'm just like why why is it today that I'm trying to uh, like make the video and they're fixing something but whatever anyways what did you study for your master's degree i think i've answered it but i studied logistics and supply chain management that was what i did for my master's degree in university of windsor and another person say what do you want to achieve in 2024 that's a very big question 
I would say what I would love to achieve this year is to be very consistent on YouTube and to try my best to grow my YouTube channel. That's like one of my biggest New Year resolution. That's the biggest thing I want to achieve this year. Another thing is to like improve career wise, like to get like there's a certification I'm trying to get. So that's also one thing that I also want to do this year. Hopefully I get it there, then I'm going to tell you guys about it and hopefully i'm able to be consistent but this year i really want to be consistent on youtube another question i got was did you get a job after school and if not what kind of jobs are you interested in so i did my master's in logistics and supply chain management and i would say the area i was really interested in was being working in the procurement area being a buyer and like that's i don't have a job yet yeah that's what people don't tell you about like everybody's like that's what that's that's one thing like people don't really like talk about these things like how hard it is to get a job after like your master's degree like it just always most people just always put the narrative like once you're done like there's like a job but honestly like in canada like if you don't have canadian experience like it's not the easiest to get a job but fingers crossed i'll get a job soon and i can tell you guys all about it because like that's one thing i'm really praying for and somebody asked me do you have your pr now no <laughs> i don't have it now but i'm already in the application process so hopefully soon i can like tell you guys about it and how i went about it but no i don't have my pr but if you want me to talk about the master's roots for ontario you can just leave a comment and i'll talk about it in my next video and someone asked me how is your love life <laughs> That's a very funny question. I have no, I have no answer to that because you know, I have no answer. That's all I can say. Uh, somebody said, "How many persons have you empowered lately?" Honestly, I don't know. I just hope I've empowered people. That I empower people that come, like people that come across me. But that's a very tough question. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't want to answer that. So I, another person said, "Are you in a relationship?" <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to answer that, but my love life is just anywhere, you guys, but whatever. But I'm so like, sorry that I've been off YouTube. Like, it's something like has been that's been really bothering me. Like, I really want to get back on YouTube, but I feel like the reason why I was off for a while was because everything was just so overwhelming for me. But you guys, I'm back now and I'm better. And I don't think I'm gonna be going anywhere for a while. Like, I'm gonna like I'm back and I'm fully back. And hopefully I am able to like be consistent and posting video in posting God English is hard. English is hard, you guys. English is hard. English is hard. How did I pass IELTS? Anyways, hopefully I'm able to be consistent and on here because that's what I really want to do this year. But you guys, thank you for the love. Thank you for always checking up on me, asking if I was okay, asking why I've been off YouTube, why I took a break and not being mean, being very positive. I see all your comments. I see all the beautiful messages. I also like see the good news of people that have gotten their Canadian visa and hopefully you get to see. Thank you to those that also see me on the road and are like, hi, Sumto, I use Sumto from YouTube. I also really appreciate that. Thank you guys for the love and I'm really sorry that I've been off, but now I'm back and better and I hope I can give my best on YouTube. Thank you guys for the love and I hope you guys have an amazing year like I'm beginning to have. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!